Hey guys and welcome back to Pixel Cherry Ninja's channel. We have a new beta core from Hotego. It's the JT1942 core, a beta core for the Unlock Pocket. These games have been out for the Mister for a while. So there's three games in this core, not counting the alternatives, and they are 1942, Pirate Ship, Higgy, Maru, and Volgus. So I'll give you a quick look at the alternatives. So we've got a, a few versions of 1942 and then a bootleg of Volgus uh, oh, and three different versions of Volgus there. So uh, we don't have an alternative for pirate ship Higgy Maru. So let's go through all three of the games and just have a quick look. I'm sure many of you guys are familiar with them. It's awesome to get this stuff over on the analog pocket. 1942 is an absolute classic. Now, confession here, I've never ever played this game in the arcade. I I used to play this on the Commodore 64, guys, and I only have good memories of it, right? I just remember this game being absolutely great on the Commodore 64. Now, I don't remember actually doing like loop the loop like I'm doing in this version, but uh, yeah, it was just, it was a fun game. And from what I remember, it had a really good soundtrack as well. So it's nice to get these on the analog pocket. Uh, and again, this video here, I'm really pressed for time. So I'm not doing my usual where I film stuff, do a voiceover. I'm just playing these games. So you can probably hear me mash that fire button. Probably would have been better to turn on auto fire. So you're not hearing that button mash. But you know what? I had four hours and I wanted to do three videos. And uh, this is the only way I could get them out because I wanted to cover the stuff. Well, the video that you've seen come out today n64 the alternative snes core that plays uh you know those uh those satellite videos and the new hotego stuff because i like covering all this stuff and i was like okay like i was kind of quiet yesterday i didn't do a lot now everything just came at once so this is 1942 it's an early shmup i mean to be honest we've been spoiled now there's a lot newer shmups there's shmups that came out after that i really really like um i'm not saying this is a bad game the only nostalgia I have for this is for the C64 version. I never really played this in the arcade much, but what I remember, from, from what I remember, uh, I know uh, this is one of Hotego's favorite games. I know one of the 19 games is. I'm not sure if it's 1942 or one of the other ones. I know he really, really likes this, and it's, it's maybe it might, might even be one of the first games that he worked on. But uh, okay, enough of that. Let's now move over, go into core settings, and let's load up Pirate Ship Higimaru, which. Funny enough, guys, I kind of like it. Like, I never played this in the arcade. So the first time I played this earlier, I was at work. Um, if you've watched my other video that came out before this regarding the SNES core, I did, obviously I don't have a capture card at work, but I did have my analog pocket. Uh, my boss is really cool at work. I always give him props, man. Uh, you know, he kind of let me go early. That's why I'm at home making these videos and I'm, and I'm pressed for time. So uh, I, I filmed it earlier. I tried it out earlier and I kind of like it. I've always had a soft spot for even though this isn't exactly like that soft uh, i've had a soft spot for single screen platformers now i know this isn't a platformer kind of reminds me of pac-man a little bit you know that like, kind of maze game but with a twist some okay i actually saw those things as ah, <laughs> i thought i was gonna get that in let me <laughs> okay so this is this is an interesting game. I'll be interested to know if you guys actually uh, play this in the arcade. If you did, let me know in the comments below. It's not something I ever experienced in the arcade. As, as best as my memory serves me, the first time I played this game was actually today earlier on at work on the analog pocket in handheld mode. And uh, it is it has a charm about it. I mean, I would have liked this game. This reminds me of like a, a good game on the C64 or like the Atari, you know, just it just has the playability, it plays well, and I don't, I don't know what all the mechanics are and everything, I don't know what those glowing barrels get you, uh, all I know is, you know, you get barrels and you can chuck them at people, and you've got different types there, we've got the wooden ones and we've got like the, I don't know, those metallic barrels, but uh, anyway, let's uh, let's move over to the last game, and which is Volgus, now, Volgus I think I played, I can't, I can't, I can't remember it, just like, you know when sometimes you play an old game, like you're running for an emulator list and you're like, oh, what's this game? Let me try it out. So I'm pretty sure I'll play this game. Now I'm not getting com this confused with um, with games like uh, Xavius or anything. Like I I legit think I've played this game. Maybe it was one of those ones. Do you remember guys when, uh, you know, you, you ran up, oh, I actually ran into that. Do you know where you, where you kind of went to a new area or something or your parents took you somewhere and it was like a random arcade machine and you managed to get like one credit on it or something? Um, this is what it reminded me of. I just don't remember much about this game, but it, I mean, it's decent. These games have aged. Like my arcade 
Uh, my arcade life kind, of life kind of began 1989 and onwards, so those are the games I really appreciate. I didn't check the year this game or these games, this group of games was particularly made, but it was definitely a little bit before my time. There's a lot of stuff that um, there's a lot of stuff that I um, I do like. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I do like, and it's from uh, sorry, like. I'm playing and trying to talk here. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that I do like, sorry, is from like a later age. Uh, but I still have appreciation for this. I know a lot of you guys like this stuff. You have nostalgia for it. And that's what all of it is about, really. It's the nostalgia. We're all nostalgia chasers. I know I'll say that a lot on the channel, but it is true. But um, okay, uh, that's it for this video, guys. These are the three new games. The part of the 19, uh, the JT 1942 call. Uh, do check them out. They're currently in beta, so you would need to be a patron subscriber. If not, if you're not a patron subscriber, hold tight. These calls do uh, do make it public. We just don't know a time frame. It's when Hotego feels they're ready and there's no more issues with them. There's plenty of public calls from Hotego. Uh, most recently, CPS2 was a great addition. That's a whole bunch of games. Make sure you've got that. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's it for this video. These are the three new releases or three new beta releases from Hotego for, uh, from Hotego for the Unlock Pocket. Anyway, take care of yourself. Take care of each other. If you're not subscribed to the channel, then you know what? A subscription and a like is super appreciated. I'll see you guys around. This is Pixel Cherry Ninja out.